Hello everyone and welcome to a child tech. Mm -hmm. A child tech. Now in this video we'll be looking at the CIE IGCC ICT uh, with the cost code 0417 variant 31 um, February March 2023 which was released a few days ago as of the time of this recording and we'll be looking at the website of twin part yes we've looked at the spreadsheet and it's right here in um, Gyrotech so go have go look at it it's, it's wonderful it was explained to the detailed um, I dotted T crossed you don't want to miss it so in Gyrotech if you're not subscribed please do well to do so okay now let's go ahead to this the instructions are very important please go to the instructions okay they are very 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 important and now the total max is 70 don't forget 70 max not 80 okay so 70 all right uh, you will supply with the following source files and now because this is website altering we will be doing the evidence document so i said create a new word process document hmm. create it now make sure your name set the number will appear on every page of this document so let's create it real quick so now there are two ways to do this you can either right click and create a new document or you can actually um, go to the word process document now in this case ms1 so i'm just going to click here and search for okay what i have it here open it and blank document okay so the next thing is make sure your name center number kind of number will appear on every page of this document now i'm going to set up the page real quick so please set up now i'm going to use two centimeters across board please ensure your measurement unit is a centimeter and okay well right? now insert headers okay now i'm going to use center line to type all this child and the comma space a n for my center number 017 comma space 2023 all right click here delete click type here delete close the header and footer save this document in your work area as m23 evidence underscore followed by your center number candidate number okay so i'm just going to copy all this copy click on file click on save us and i'm not sure if this is the right place but let me be sure okay no it's, it's not okay so you, that's why you have to be sure I'm going to save it here and paste it apparently just center number okay en 017 kind of number is 2023 click on save that simple you use this in your examination use it as an examination document doing use it as the evidence document during your examination during the examination rather so this is going to be evidence okay evidence one evidence two evidence three evidence four Okay, I don't know how many evidence there is, but I think I'm okay with this for now. And I'm going to click on file. I'm going to save this. Now, the next thing is, let's move into website altering. Okay, so the first thing is, I just want to be sure, is file management and image manipulation. Okay, create a new folder called TCC. Okay, a new folder called TCC. So I'm going to open my file explorer, document, look for it. Okay. 
over here so i'm creating a folder here called tcc so i'll right click on it or click new folder whichever one if you're using windows 10 you probably have something like this new folder and then a capital cap lock tcc that's simple no special no special uh, technicalities on it so just straightforward right locate the following files and store them in your tcc folder the bat which is an image logo the html and the text for right so the bat the logo the html and the text right click on it cut it open the folder right click on it and then paste okay all right open and edit the image m3 logo.jpg by now i want to talk about the image edited so what i use for my um, students and what i recommend to a candidate to use for image editing is the paint.net you can actually use um, um adobe photoshop right i have adobe photoshop here but um because of how heavy it is i just want every learner to just have one so i use the paint.net okay so paint.net okay open it okay um, i'm using the updated version there is a new version so um okay so just install the new version right now which is 5.06 okay um this is only the background now let's open and edit this image so let me open it so click on file file click on open locate the image Okay, um, okay, I think, which one is it? Yep. So, what's the name of the image? Logo, right? So, this is it. Click on open. So, this is the image right here. Now, reflect, reflect or flip. Now, we'll talk about reflect or flip. This simply means horizontally, the set horizontally. So, it means you're flipping from left to right vertical top to bottom and vice versa right so i'm going to go to image flip horizontal okay so done then rotate it 180 degree so that the text is readable emphasis on the text is readable so image rotate 180 so the text is now readable to our cricket club okay reduce the image dimension to 900 pixels wide by 180 pixels high okay now how do we do this as much as possible how do we get this um done so let's see how we can do this real quick let's see how we can do this. okay so what we're going to do is this right Oh, there's a spreadsheet that we did. Just gonna save it, it's fine. All right, so how do we do this? Now, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go to image, resize. Now, because they've given us a dimension, image dimension, we're not doing maintaining aspect ratio, right? We're not doing this. So this is uh, 900 pixels wide. So 900 pixels wide, 180 high okay so 180i we're going to type it manually i will click okay okay now save this new image in your tcc folder in png not jpeg but in png okay using the file name tcc logo followed by what your candidate number so i'm just going to copy this and so i'm going to click on file save us please save us paste this followed by your candidate number so this is going to be um 2023 okay obviously the text was too long okay so they give an example here right so this is what we're going to do so and it's going to be saved as what png they want to see that so save us type will be what png okay png now and I'm going to click on save, right? 32 bits, 
is fine. I want it to be it. Um, it's fine. Uh, if you want this auto detect, it's also fine, right? So, and I'll click on OK. All right. Now, the next thing is display the content of your TCC folder showing the folder name. Okay, so let's go, let's look at this. So I'm going to click on view, click on details, right here, name and date modifier, double click on it, text and size, double click on it, showing the folder name, this is the folder name, TCC, um, all five names, these are the all five names, five extensions, these are the five extensions, image dimensions, are not there five sizes are here so to add to add image dimension to this right here on this header i'm going to right click click on more and i'm going to look for dimensions d for dimensions right here and i'm going to click on ok so now we now have the dimensions for this they want to see this 900 watt by what 800 so this means the height Sorry, the width with the height, width and height, right? Okay. They want to see if this is done. Now, take a screenshot of this folder and place this in your evidence document. So, let me take a screenshot of it. And what do I use? I use what we call the snipping tool, right? The snipping tool to do this. Click on new, and then I get to take a snipping tool of this right here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to place this in my evidence one. Okay, right click and just paste it. Literally, that's what you have to do, right? Uh, the next one is, okay, the next one is this. Uh, task 4, which is the web page, right? You're going to create a style sheet. I'm part of a web page for the Tower Cricket Club. The web page and the web page and style sheet must work in any browser. All color codes are in hexadecimal, hexadecimal by your hash, and any new color code must be in hexadecimal. Make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. Make your HTML and style sheet as efficient as possible. Now, if you're watching my YouTube channel in Jarotech, right? If you're watching it, all the videos on Agrodude on website altering, you will know that this is the same team. They are always talking about this over and over again. Okay, now create a new style sheet in your folder called m23tcc.css. Now, to do this, I'm going to use what we call the web expression. That is what I use. I recommend for candidates to use in creating their web page. Okay, so the web expression for okay so we have this now i'm going to click on file click on new and then css okay now saving it is not an issue click on file click on save us okay and then look for that folder that has the source file in it right so i'm just going to look for mine be careful not to save it anywhere this is very delicate if you save it anywhere then again when you import your image you might have some errors so save it in that same folder and that's not good enough right so um right here i'm going to save it here in this tcc folder and this is going to be what it says in what in your tcc folder they will this is stated here m23 tcc there's no need of copying the extension it's already on .css. don't copy the extension right just leave it the way it is okay so we have this and then um and then we can paste it here, right? So M23 TCC. Leave it like this. Leave it, let it, the save as its web page. So let it be web page, okay? Click on save. Now you can see that it's on CSS, okay? So that's what we want you creating. Now add CSS to this style sheet to meet these specifications. Background. Now we have uh, the header, we have the body. Now, in the header, we have um, title, style sheet, script, meta tags, etc. So, for the background, this is for the body. Now, to do this, 
we're going to create a new style okay so new style i'm going to call this body because the background is for what the body if it's table it, the background is going to be here okay so color code now the color code is the rgb rgb okay do i need to type in or something rgb r for red red um, g for green b for blue okay so this is what it is right all right uh maybe i make it black or something no black doesn't help red so this is it here right the rgb now to do this um so we it has to follow the structure so at the end of it when you're having your your hash two for red two for green two for blue okay so that's why it's six hexadecimal right so we have this uh now it's all mixed up so we have red which is 6d so that's the first thing so what i do is i go to background right and i go to background color and i have my hash okay then 6d 6d what else uh, g 04 okay 04 what else zero a okay so we see this now this is uh 6d 04 a okay and i'll click on okay so we have this right the new start next i'm going to create is h1 h2 h3 and p using the most style this has everything so we'll put them together so this is going to be h1 comma h2 comma h3 comma p p for paragraph right now the font style okay which is your font is going to be this so we're going to use block sorry box sorry font rather font so the font family is going to be what domino okay now what i will do is this i will just speak do we have anyone that has domino um default what serif so i'm just going to pick anyone that ends with serif right here so i'll take this one off domino okay domino regular okay that's the next one domino regular okay now if these fonts are not available the browser will display the default serif font and i'm going to apply it okay now notice it's showing quote here this quote means it sees it as one word if it's not a quote it's, it means it's domino separate regular separate okay font color is yellow so that's the font color yellow color code don't forget so this is the color code for yellow fff 4f double zero and this is why i recommend that you use the mic the web um, the web expression because your exam you don't have um no internet and you don't want to get stuck in which of the you have to memorize all the color code so the web expression helps you to just give you all this um using third party apps is not out of place okay it's not examination my practice right so there are these are front front end pages right and if you want to use the back end it means you have to just that way you have gui and cli right so so please okay so but then again if you're coming out with the color codes it's fine at least know the basic color codes it's, it's fine um for table okay that's for all i'm going to apply it click on okay new styles 
for table. Let me see this for table. Now, table, we have different sections. We have table and we have TD. Okay, so we have alignment. This is alignment center within the browser window. Now, to make it center within the browser window, it means the left and right has to be what? Auto. Okay. So, box. Okay, so the margin. Left has to be auto. Right has to be auto. Sorry, auto. That it can be centralized, and I'm going to apply it. Um, border says collapse, not visible. Okay, so table border collapse, collapse. Okay, not visible. So the border should not be visible. Now, borders, so the width is going to be what? Zero, and it's going to be what? Solid. Apply. Okay, it's, it's not visible. Okay, so zero means that it's not visible. Okay. All right, and um, I'm going to click on file, click on save. Okay. All right. Now the next thing is now borders collapse not visible. Now you have a choice. You can if you take this off, you still get the mark, right? Because at the end of the day, it's still not visible. But then again, I'm adding this because why um, the border has collapsed, right? The visibility is what is zero, right? And then again. Um, they need access. Let me just take it off, right? I can just take it off, so it's fine. Okay, I can just take it off, so it's fine. Okay, so that's set to. Um, if you want to leave it, but since they didn't bring, they didn't make solid. You can just make me with the border width to be zero, so it's fine. Place your name, center number, candy number as a comment at the start of a star sheet. Now, comment makes it non-executable, right? It's non-executable. Okay. At what? Let me go again. At the start of the style sheet. So right here, hit on enter, place my comment, and we we'll use a forward slash asterisk. Now notice, if you leave it like this, everything is not going to work. Everything will be seen as non-executable, non -exec which means um, it's a comment. It's not executable. It's just to just um, show you um, what this code is all about. We'll give you a guide on auto. Who wrote it, etc. etc. Right? So in general, and D, comma, A N 017, comma, 323. Space, steric, another four slash. Okay, now it's back. Click on file, click on save. Save your style sheet. Place a copy. Of your style sheet in your evidence document make sure the contents are easy to read okay now let's do this a copy now this simply means that they want to see this place a copy not take a copy right because they want to see the you want to also see the name for this as much as possible. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so I'm just going to take a snippet, snippet, take a new snip. Okay, uh, I think this is fine by me. Okay, now I'm going to place this in my evidence document. Okay, paste it. Now, I can go to picture format and increase the width. Still the same to why maintain the aspect ratio. Um, just to ensure that everything is clear. So to me, this is good to go. And the name of the CSS is Dell as well, which is very, 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 very important. Okay.
open in your TCC folder the web page called okay the web page called um, m23tcc.html all right um okay so what we're going to do now is this click on file click on new html right now we have this this i dot type means um document type html and i want to take this off please take this off it's an old um version so take it off okay take it off leaving only this and also take this off as well right please take it off thank you okay and then um, i'm okay with the rest all right it's fine so let's create a folder what is it called m23 oh the folder is open sorry open in your HTML for the web page code okay sorry it's opened Oh, it's open already. Okay, guys, it's open. So I'm going to close this. Nope. Click on file. Click on open. Look for it. They said open, not create. Right. So. Um, all right. Okay, TCC folder is right here, right here, right? So M23 TCC, open. And if you're wondering, it is also right here. You have been supplied with this. Okay, so. Okay, so let's have this. The web page structure, the web page has a structure like this. Really? Okay, yes, it does. So let me preview it in my Microsoft Edge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Each cell contains data which will not appear on your final web page. Replace the letter A with the image TCC logo that you have saved in step 9. Okay, let's do this. Code view A and remove the A. Click on insert picture from file document. Okay. Look for it. Please, everything must be saved under the TCC. It's very, very important, guys. Very important. So, what is it? The image TCC logo that you have saved that has your candidate number, not the other one. Insert. Now, this will be TCC logo. This is a, we call it alternate an alternate test. That means if the image does not load, this is what I will, this is what this is what is going to this is what will display in your web page before the image loads, right? So TCC logo or logo of TCC, whichever one. Okay, so that's the first one. B with the contents of the file. Okay, M23 text. So let's open it. I think I can change the view now to last. Okay, so let me open the text. So I'm just going to copy everything, Control A, and copy, right? So for B, okay, take off the B, right click, and then paste. Okay, so we have them here. So there's a structure already. This is design view. This is the code view. I prefer the code view a lot. And it helps me design view also. It just, okay, whichever one feels comfortable, but I would prefer you use the code view, right? Because you're able to just be in charge of it. Um, okay. 
So I'll hit on it. Enter. Now this does not affect your web page outcome of the web page. This is just for me to put them to make to make it readable for me, right? So I can see all of them. See with the image M23 bat. So see here with the image, take up the C, insert picture from file. So this will be image of a bat and a glove. Okay, that's what I'm seeing there. What again? D with a text. Web page created by copy. So that's D here. Okay, maybe I'll use design view for you guys. Web page created by a child and the comma center number en017 comma space 2023 your candidate number. All right. Apply style H2 to all text in cell B and D. B and D. H2. So right here. So apply it. So click at here. When the cursor is blinking, come here towards H2, heading 2. And all of them automatically will be applied. Or you can use the code um, H2, then you close it with H2. Okay? For the text as well, at the beginning or at the ending, whichever one, H2 as well. All right? Make sure the aspect ratio of both images is maintained. Of both images is what maintain. Yes. Okay, let's see. Edit this web piece so that the table fits. 85% of the browser window. So to do this, we we'll click on table, table properties, table, and then we can see what has been done, rows and column. Okay, rows and column to be there, and um, so we have 85%. So what we are going to do now is the width. Is going to be what 85%. Okay. Okay, so percent. So we'll change it here to percent. So this table fits what? 85% of the browser window. Okay. So now we have this to fit in here. Now we can click on apply and then okay. So at the end of the day, it fits in what? 85%. Okay, so make sure the aspect ratio. Of both images are maintained. Now this is what I'm going to do. Now let me save this, right? And let me go to my browser. I've preferred it on my browser already. It's right here. So let's see how this looks like. Hmm. Not good, huh? I want this to fit in. So what am I going to do? I will go to my code and right here, I'm going to say style. or with 100% okay let me save this let's see how it looks like
okay, maybe this is a star. Okay, so let's get a star. A star, then with 100%. Take this off. Okay, I'm going to save this. Now let me check this. This is better, right? Because I want this to fit in. I want this to fit in, which is good. Okay, so uh, now most of the time the question will not tell you, but ensure that it is, uh, the aspect ratio is maintained across board. And then again, I can apply this as well. Style the width. 100% Let me take this off Okay Click on file, click on save Okay, what happened? Oh! I took the image away, undo Sorry, I took the, the source file of the image away. Oh my god. So take off the wheat alone. I undo it, Ctrl Z. Um, take off the wheat and height, rather. The wheat and height. And then click on file, click on save. I was wondering what happened. Okay, so that's fine. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is attach the star sheets to this web page. So the star sheet we created, let's attach it to it. So I'm going to click on attach star sheet. I'm going to browse for it. M23 TCC. Open. Attached. So it's right here in the head section. Click on file, click on save. Now, right here, so this is what we have. So at the end of the day, this is how the design looks like. Okay, it's lovely. Think of it, looking good, right? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is this. Let's look at the question again. Display the web page. I think we've saved. Have we saved? Yes. Yes, we have saved. Okay. So let's the next we're gonna do display the web page your browser. Take screenshot evidence and place this in your evidence document. Okay, so um display the web page in your browser, take screenshot evidence. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. So now for those of you who have not done that, just click on file, preview in browser, and then I'll recommend Microsoft Edge, but if you don't have Microsoft Edge right here, now this is what you have to do. Click on Edit Browser List, click on Add, Browse, and go to this PC, then, um, sorry, not here, uh, the first one, go to, uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, Windows, Z Windows, Microsoft. Okay, go to Microsoft. Then you see Edge applications, and then you see it here, right? Click on it, and then you add it, and then you type the name as Microsoft. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay. All right, and then you can uncheck, uncheck the Microsoft, uh, Internet Explorer you don't need it, and then either leave it in Chrome or Edge, but I want you to do it in Edge for good reasons. So now we're done. They said, make sure that all the pages can be seen, all text can be easily read, okay? Um, the address bar is fully visible. So this is what we're gonna do, right? I'm going to click on this three dot, click on Web Capture. And I'm going to capture the full page. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Now go to my 
evidence document evidence tree right click and then i'll paste it okay now this is not control v let me see this let me see uh, capture capture area okay no that's not the capture let me see why that that is not capture capture for page no nope. i'm showing that i'm not okay with that Okay, let me do a web select. Copy. Um, let me see if this is better. Oh, nope. Bad. Now the capture web page works perfectly, but I don't know. Um, let me check the capture area. So maybe that looks. So let me take it like this, capture area, see why that is, okay, copy, um, paste it, control V, okay, now it's showing this, okay, let me see how the paste is going to look like. Okay, as a picture, it becomes big. Let me see. Let me see. Is it? Is... All right. Um, let's do the capture full page. Let me copy it. Let me see why that is doing. The way it is. No. Okay, guys. Um, obviously, that is not giving me what I want. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a snip into on this. And I'll pull them soft, right? Pull them soft. Let me reduce it a bit. So reduce it doesn't help. Um, okay, so let me see if I can do this. Okay. Um, I think this is... Is this better? Let me see if this is better. Nope, it's not. Um, okay, I'm just going to take it like this, right? It's still fine. Um, hopefully, this will count. Now, obviously, this is the only thing that is meant to be here. Obviously, your crystal people is not meant to be here. But I'm just going to take all of this together, all right? So, uh, my snipping tool has to come handy right now. Snipping tool right here. So I'm just going to take all of this right here. Okay, so, and I'm going to paste this. So this is fine. So if all else fails, it's always going to be an alternative. So right here, control, hit on enter. So we're here, right? So it's, it's just the same, right? Because most times you have to check if one works the other way, it doesn't, and then again. Now, like I said, this is this tab is the only thing that is meant to be there. The reason why I'm having two tabs is because the other one is an electronic paper. So obviously in the exam, you're not going to have that because you have a physical copy of it. Okay. All right. Um, so all the page can be seen. All the page can be seen. Yes, all the page can be seen. What else? All the text can be easily read. Yes, they can be easily read. Um, the address bar is fully visible. It's fully visible. Um, the address bar is fully visible right there. 
Now, obviously, like I said, these folders upon folders, if this was your desktop, this would have been so easy for you. So, they're just by this fully visible to see that. Display the HTML source. Take a copy. Not place a copy, take a copy. So, you're actually taking a copy of it, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm taking a copy of everything here. So, click on line one, right click, select all, right? Right click, copy. Okay, now that we have done that, go to your evidence document and right here, hit on enter. And then right click and then paste it. Now, highlight it again. You want to make it to be, you know, 16, like 16 is fine. Then right here on paragraph group, remove the spaces after paragraph. Okay, maybe I make it 18, it's not a crime. Okay. All right. So this is what we have. And um, total marks is 22. Okay, so obviously the special had more marks. Now, make sure your name, center number, candidate number appears on every page of your evidence document. Now, this is for the evidence document. Now, save it. Ensure your name is there. If your name is there, they're not going to mark it. So, ensure your name is there. Your full name. So, click on File. Click on Print. Now, I want to print the evidence document. So, please ensure. Please use a white team, a light team on your laptop to do this. Not a dark team. Obviously, practice with it. Obviously, your teacher is going to configure all that for you, so that makes it easy. Okay, and ensure everything is clear. Next page. Okay. Um, good. So, print. So, this is going to be... Nope. This paper 2, paper 3. So, this is going to be print out web page, right? print out web page so yes it's done click on file click on save please always preview what you've done to so print out check it is it okay by you um, it, you check the question to see that everything is there um, and then the browser the web page is exactly what it needs to be the code and everything and once you've done yeah, you're good to go so with this, we are officially done with paper three. Okay, uh, it was quite simple. Generally, that's my assessment, right? Um, unlike the paper three that we know, right? And please don't forget, like I said, Agile Tech is loaded with so many informations. You can't afford to miss this YouTube channel. It's all there for you. So subscribe, okay? Click the subscribe button and then um, share this with a friend, with your classmates, because trust me, this is the best gift you can ever give your classmates, your friend, on that they are offering ICT. You're just doing them um, one of the best favors they could ever ask for. So thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.